Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from ISE. I want to give you a chance to see some of the best innovation that's happening on the show floor here. So let's take a look. Display technology is always a huge story. There seems to be an endless appetite for more, bigger, better LED, OLED, paper thin displays, VR stuff and ISC is no different. Uh, what I'm seeing here though, which I find really interesting, aside from you know, lizards being able to crawl around on giant screens, corporations and you know, smaller companies being able to get into the Mandalorian style production where they have a huge LED wall and then map all of their content to that. So say goodbye to green screens and hello to virtual production sets. In virtual production for movies, the camera never leaves the LED. Whereas there's another version called XR, you might have a smaller LED volume, maybe a more immersive shape like a cube with an LED floor, and that enables a presenter, a CEO, uh, an artist to be in a, an immersive LED environment. One of the technologies that's always exciting at a show like this is the camera tech. What's most interesting to me is the network camera tech. So we're talking about NVI SRT capable cameras. These cameras are always connected to the network so you can control them either locally or from anywhere. And who doesn't want that? So let's jump into that a bit. Network cameras are fantastic in this space because now you can have your PTZ operators with a remote control either off-site, inside in another room, or inside the production control center without actually needing to be in the studio with talent. With the NDI protocol, you're able to create so many more different instances and use cases with our cameras. Certainly for use case like education and things like corporate applications, we have to look at how our camera fits into the wider system. Obviously our camera being the front end of the system, but you have to get that image quality back through and out there to your viewers. NDIHX can put this all in one package, so when you're in a networked environment, you have full control over all your cameras and systems within that network. People love NDI, in my opinion, just because it's easy to use and it works. However, when we need to traverse the internet, um, we need to rely on SRT because there are some fantastic tool sets in there, including forward error correction, which lets us be able to traverse the internet and make sure that our receiver at the other end gets that video frame exactly as it's intended for that ultra high quality remote production. At ISC, there's so many companies here talking about the very best in video conferencing. And what we're also seeing is some of these companies are starting to move from video conferencing into broadcasting. So they get the convenience of joining a Zoom call or a Teams call and the quality of what you might see on TV. Our own studio is the perfect example where you can see we're producing all this incredible content with Teams as the way we collect that content and our own production tools to produce it. So bridging of that gap between conferencing and broadcasting is a huge story.